Hello friends, it's Narika here and my next episode of Living the Jones Life is coming out. It's called Word of the Day, Trust. So this video is going to be used in conjunction with that video as a parental guide. That way your children can get the most out of the videos. We're really using these videos as a devotional tool. So the main focus of this video is learning to trust in the Lord. Before watching the video, I want you to ask your children what they believe trust is. This is a good way to get a base of where their mindset is of what trust is to them. And I'm sure you're gonna get some interesting answers because children do say the darndest things. But it's a good way to get a base of what their understanding of what trust is before we delve into the topic. Reinforcing your children that trusting in the Lord is the right thing to do in order to reap the many rewards that he has for us. Maybe even give them a treat. It doesn't have to be sweets or candy, but it could be something as simple as saying that you spent 15 minutes with them outside playing. The point is, is that you want to associate participating in the devotion with the reward. The reward can come from you. That way they know that when they do put their faith and trust in God, rewards do happen. So the first Bible verse associated with this episode is Proverbs chapter 3, verses 5 and 6. Trust in the Lord with all your heart. Do not depend on your own understanding. Seek his will in all you do, and he will show you which path to take. Tell your children to trust in God and not to trust in doing things the way in which they want to do them. When you do things God's way and follow his path for you, rewards will be met. Benefits will be met from it. He will empower you. The second Bible verse for the episode is Psalms chapter 56, verse 3. But when I am afraid, I will put my trust in you. Let your kids know that when they're scared and afraid, that they can trust in God. He will release their fears. He will give them strength to overcome whatever gets in their way. And that in itself is the definition of trusting in God. In the episode, Spike's afraid to get in the pool because he's scared of water. But we know that there's no fear that God can overcome. Through trusting in him, we're able to get over anything. So through the encouragement of the other children, spoiler alert, Spike is able to overcome his fear because he trusts that God will protect him while he's in the water. That fear that he has will be vanquished, eliminated, gone because Spike trusts in God. And that at the end of the day is what we're trying to teach our kids. Trusting God is the way to go. All your problems, all your fears, all your concerns are no, no big deal for God. He could handle it all. So when you trust in him and put it in his hands, he'll take care of it. So now that your children have watched the episode, I have some questions you can ask your children that will invoke further conversation on the topic of trusting in the Lord. Question number one, what do you think trust means? Even though you kind of ask this question at the beginning, we're asking at the end, that way we are seeing if they've changed their understanding of what trust is and if they've kind of grasped the concept of what they've learned in the episode. Question number two, tell me a time when you trusted in the Lord. This is a great question for your children because it allows them to explain their personal experience and how they've learned to trust in the God and allowing them to reflect in the past about times they've trusted in the Lord. And this is a good time for you too. If you know that they had an incident where they trust in God, you can reflect on that and remind them and tell that story. So this is a great time to hear your child really speak and just express themselves. Question number three, what are the benefits in trusting in God? So this is just 
there's so many benefits, but really just a way for your child to express themselves and give their point of view on the benefits of trusting God, which you know is immense and amazing and overflowing. He's so good to us. So these are great questions to ask your children. That way it encourages conversation and it's a great way for you to learn the heart of your child. So the other part of this video that is really cool is that we discuss water safety tips. During the summer months, it's so important that our kids are safe and smart about playing around water. We want our kids to have fun, but we also want them to be safe. Water safety tip number one, always have an adult around before swimming. It's important, adult will keep them safe, and we already know, have an adult around to watch in case something happens. God forbid, at least an adult is there. Water safety tip number two, if you can't swim, wear a personal flotation device. Kids tend to be braver than they sometimes should. So really encourage your children to be honest with themselves on their water safety level ability and you don't take risks because it's risky or have an adult there to supervise wear a flotation device if you need to wear a flotation device if you're not comfortable do that water safety tip number three no running around the pool no running around the pool no running around the pool it can be wet you get slip you can fall, you could hurt yourself. It's just not a good idea. Very important rule. Safety tip number four. Tell an adult if there's a problem. That's why the adult is there. If there's a problem, you could tell the adult. Safety tip number five. Always wear sunscreen. It's very important to protect your skin when you're out in the sun because all that fun that you're having in the sun could turn into not so much fun if your skin is burned. So protect your skin. It is the biggest organ in our body. Protect your skin. Safety tip number six, check the water depth. Get your children into the habit of checking their surroundings, making sure they're comfortable with the water that they're getting into and not just to be like, oh my gosh, water. And then it's, in an environment that's not necessarily beneficial to them or they're comfortable with and then it's they have to call the adult because there's a situation but the adult is there because they follow the water safety tip water safety tip number seven is don't go into the water if you're not comfortable there's an element of this in the episode where the kids are encouraging and trying to push 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 spike to get in the water but if you're not comfortable it's okay so your children it's okay if they don't feel comfortable with it they don't have to get in the water when that time comes when they put their trust in god and they get over that fear and they're able to get in the water and that's the time to get in the water but if you're not comfortable don't go in the water those are my safety tips and if you have any more safety tips Please write them below. Some other questions you can ask your children about water safety is what are some water safety tips that they might have or you've implemented in your family? Let me know. I love to hear them in the comments below. And another question you can ask your children is what is a lifeguard? We touch upon it a little bit in the episode, but really don't delve into it. It's the time to have after conversation and really get your children to understand the importance of a lifeguard and what a lifeguard does. That's all I have. I hope you guys enjoyed that episode. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this episode, this congruent episode with Word of the Day Trust. It's a lot of fun to do. I really felt it was important for me to come on here and kind of guide you with the lesson that I like to be taught in the main video because it's important that our kids are grasping the content that's trying to be taught. I thought this would be kind of cool. You know, I don't like to be in front of the camera, but here I am, I'm here. But um, it's important that what 
I'd like to be taught is translated over to the kids. So I thought this adult guide, parent guide would be really helpful for you. Um, if you have any suggestions on what I could do different or what I could do better, I'm here, I'm an open book. I really wanna just teach our children the word of God and open their hearts to God's word and allow them to find the goodness that God continuously gives us when we allow him to enter into our lives. So no better time to start than now. And um, that's all I have for you all. Thank you so much. Please like, comment, share, subscribe, and just have a blessed day. Enjoy the rest of your summer. Be good, be safe out there. I know this whole thing, the world is crazy right now, but we put our trust in God, we can all get through it and God will always show the goodness and grace through it all. So no worries on that front because we know, we know we're covered. We know who has the wheel. So just sit in that passenger seat and enjoy the ride. Love you, bye, be blessed.